Hi guys, Putty here, and welcome back for another episode of Mini Atlantic Wrestling. This is Maw Ultimate Warriors, and we're taking a tiny bit of a risk this week. We're heading to the Great No, yeah, no, the Southeast, in the Arkansas Coliseum. We're hopefully going to have a 2,000 uh, capacity fill-out tonight, and uh, it's a pretty low-key show uh, in accordance. I'm only using hopefully the guys that can get really good ratings. Um, but if the rating isn't fantastic, oh well. Hopefully it doesn't bomb. Let's get right into it. Shall we? Not a lot of pre-show stuff this week, but we did put a post-show match for the Team Chaos. Let's get going. So, uh, not a bad promo considering that they're not as over here, presumably, as they are in um, the Mid-Atlantic. So, let us actually finish these turns now that we've got the build-up for them. Yay. And then this one. Yay, two complete successful turns. Bill Bryden has a C promo, that's not fantastic, all things considering. I say that phrase way too much. And then the opening promo for the show. Gets a B. Yeah, I think that's alright. A video an intro video plays showing some highlights from the past and narrated by Fro Shore. The video gets the audience ready for the upcoming show. Featured prominently on the video are Casey Valentine, Fuyuku Higa, Casey Glenn, Groucho Bling, Roger Cage, Mean Jean Catley, and Brooke. Tyler. Animal DeVille comes to the ring to start the show. Mean Gene, you want a title shot? Well, that's fine with me. I'm never one to back away from a challenge, and this title is meant to be defended on television. So next week, in the main event, we will go one-on-one -on -one with the title on the line. And that is true. They will go one-on-one -on -one with the title on the line next week. It will be... Uh, two upper mid-carders. Damn, I, I thought one of them would be a main eventer by now. Uh, well, I Mean Gene's fallen, obviously, because we've been neglecting to book him. So, there you go, that's the main event for next week. And I think we've got a match next. We do. Fuyuku Higa in about the hand solving reaction with Notch in the way of heat. Fuyuku Higa defeats Laura Flame in 6 minutes and 3 seconds with a Higa green driver. 55 on her gimmick. Good chemistry, though. Not a bad match for a place where they're not very over. On a television match, too. Casey Valentine comes to the ring and motions for a mic to be given for, for, to him. When no mic comes, he goes searching for one in the back. Ah, oh, that's meant to say, like, timekeeper's area. Suddenly, he is knocked clean to the floor and Ernest Youngman is revealed to be in the timekeeper's area with a microphone. He says, nobody is safe. Chaos is everywhere. Hellcat Hernandez is in the interview room. Tonight, Brooke, I am going to pin you and show the world why I should be next in line for a shot at that title of yours. Your days are numbered, Brooke. Enjoy them while you can. The ring generals defeat Perry Erickson and George Wolf in 6 minutes and 19 seconds. Morris Stadley defeats George Wolf by pinfall with a double German suplex. 44D. Then I think we got another segment. Casey Valentine is, in, in, is backstage in Sam, in Sam Keith's office and he is furious about what just went on at ringside. Sam Keith tells him to calm down and assures him he is going to handle it. Semi-main event gets a C and about to have great action, uh, good, great heat and good action. Hellcat Hernandez and Lily Snyder defeat Brooke Tyler and Bell Bryden in 7.52 when Hellcat Hernandez defeated Brooke Tyler by pinfall with a running bulldog. Hellcat pinned Brooke. She did exactly what she said she would. And then the main event, it's a B-. And about to have great action and good heat. Uh, sorry, great heat and good action. Fro sure defeats Frantic Ali. In 10 minutes and 17 seconds. By pinfall with a sure thing. And in a post show match that nobody seemed to give a shit about. Because you've got the uh, penalized as a post show. Also odd. Oh because these, these guys turned heel now. Yeah. So it's just a shit match in general. But it doesn't matter. It shouldn't affect the show grade. Which C plus. Yeah. It probably didn't lose us that much popularity in the mid-Atlantic. Not bad. Not bad at all. Considering we kind of have to be doing these shows every now and then. Uh, over in the extended family, I guess, of MAW. It's not uh, It's not a huge deal. Let's have a look to see if it raised our pop there. I think it raised our pop both in the Southeast and the South... Yep, and the Great Lakes, which is good. Obviously, that was from television. Uh, I don't think... It did, were those one before? One second. They were. We've actually gone up everywhere, which is always good. Probably a little bit more in the Southeast, though, because we were actually there for the show. Fuyuku Higa is a little bit knackered, understandably. Did we go down a whole pod point, by the way? We didn't. We stayed at 74, which is always good to see. How is Fro looking on that pop? Because I always like to check in. He's staying pretty uh, pretty solid there. Uh, KC, was he even on the show tonight? I don't think he was, which is fine. Uh, we only need to use him every now and then. Well, 
I want to try and use him like three out of the four shows a month, basically. Deuce Deadline is, I think, staying pretty solid. Robbie Wright. 33. That momentum's pretty good after that heel turn. Nice. And what about Ernest Youngman? Okay. They're doing okay. They're doing okay. That's the best I can say for them at the moment. The storylines, obviously, it was a low-key show because we were in such a bad area for our uh, workers over in us. But otherwise, yeah, it's not too bad, actually. That's surprising. Oh, that match was affected it. Damn it. Ah, that's a bad match to leave off on. But at the very least, they're doing very good. Ernest Youngman's doing good. The Modern Dragons are didn't have a match this week. Uh, the Road to Redemption wasn't featured on the show this week. This one was, though, and it's pretty good. Helicat Hernandez, this one's pretty good. I'm not sure if this match was. Yes, it was. And that's doing pretty well as well. We really should do those dance segments or maybe a highlights package segment every week to try and get the girls a little further over because they're... They're struggling a bit without those segments. Uh, let's move forward to see what the rating was. It'll probably be down. If we can stay consistent, that would be good. But considering that the show quality was down, it might drop a single point. Possibly not. Um, a lot of ratings has very little to do with your actual uh, the quality of your show. So, yeah. We're probably bringing Snapdragon. Yeah, we're bringing Snapdragon in for a single appearance. This is just a job. I've got a bunch of just jobbing talent like the women we brought in are permanent jobbers they're in here like they're here for three months to do some jobbing whereas like people like snapdragon samoan machine javi ferrera they're all great wrestlers but uh they're just here to put somebody over and then leave basically uh yeah i said him as an enhancement talent but there you go same uh same rating well, i don't give a shit samoan machine i really don't because you are only here for one episode, which is why I'm sending you as an enhancement talent as well. You will show up, you will lose, and you will, <laughs> and then you will leave. Well, that is how this works, by the by the way, guys. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Check out the rest of the series. Subscribe if you haven't already, and leave any comments you have, uh, any feedback you have as a comment. So I will speak to you guys in the next episode of Mid Atlantic Wrestling Ultimate Warriors, where in the main event, Animal Deville is challenged by Mean Gene Catley for the television title. I'll see you guys then.